What's up guys, it's Trax and today we're gonna be reviewing some MLB chains and pendants. Chris Archer. So here Chris has the classic Miami Cuban chain. Chris had an incident in the bullpen with one of his chains. It broke, something happened. That's not what you want in professional athletics. From the picture, I could tell that's a very, very high quality Cuban because the links are very, very tight. It's very important to have that, especially when you're on the field and throwing the ball. You want a chain that's not gonna inhibit your athletic ability in any way or get in the way. Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is wearing a classic Figaro link. This is a link that's been around for a very long time. It's not particularly fancy. It's something that even the average person can afford. But he's wearing it on the field because he likes it. He likes the way it feels. He likes the way it looks. He's not trying to be flashy. He's not trying to be over the top. So this is a Figaro chain. A Figaro chain is basically three links plus one elongated link of a curb link. The curb link is these three links. And if you add this, it turns into a Figaro link, right? A Cuban link would be these same three links compressed all across. So a Figaro chain is just a specifically designed chain to get a beautiful aesthetic look that also saves a little bit on weight, but mostly people wear it because they like the style of it. It's not for uh, the weight purposes, but that's essentially why it was invented to begin with, to give somebody a little bit of a longer chain without having extra links that are extra heavy. Mookie Betts. Mookie Betts is wearing a classic Figaro link, very similar to the one Aaron Judge has, except his is a little bit heavier. The length is between 20 to 22 inches. Mookie Betts is wearing his Figaro link on and off the field, and these types of chains, they never bother you, they never scratch you, so you can wear them to sleep, you can wear them in the shower, they're gold, they never tarnish, they never give you a problem, they become ultimately a part of you. Manny Machado. When Manny Machado was signed to the Orioles, he had a unique diamond chain. It's not the best for the field because it's flying around, as you could see in this picture. However, it's a unique chain. It's got red diamonds, white diamonds all the way around. When he signed to the Padres, he switched it up to a tighter link, shorter, heavier, fully iced Miami Cuban, which to me is a way better chain to wear on the field and in the game. When in action, the Miami Cuban chain is gonna stick with you. You could be on a motorcycle with it, you could play a game, you could almost do anything with this chain. So this is the type of chain you might wanna have on the field. Heavy, short, not interfering, not something you have to tuck in and out every time you throw the ball. Yasiel Puig. Yasiel is wearing a rose gold rope chain. A beautiful chain because the solid rope is very heavy. You have to have your chains heavy when you're on the field because when you're throwing that ball, you don't want your chain going like this or hitting you in your face. You don't want it interfering with your game. You don't want it to cost a loss or something like that. His choice is a little bit better because it's heavier and it's gonna wear even better on the field. Austin Jackson. Austin is wearing a two-tone rose and white gold fully iced Miami Cuban link right around 13 millimeters and he's got another chain right under that. It's fully iced. He's going for the fully iced look. He's not wearing the Figaro chain. That was your grandpa's look. He's going for the fully iced. But the most important thing is it's heavy, it's solid, and it's not going to interfere with what he's trying to do. Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo is wearing two chains. He's got a rope chain and a dog tag beat chain. On the dog tag beat chain, he's got his player number 27 and another pendant on the rope chain. These are two light chains that you could buy almost anywhere in America. He's keeping it classic, he's keeping it simple, and that's a good look. So here, Alex switched up his chains. He's got a moon cut on the 27. He's got an iced Miami Cuban, and he's got a tennis chain with another pendant on it. All three of these chains, out of all of them, my favorite one, it's not the most expensive, it's the least expensive, it's the moon cut. So this is a moon cut chain in rose gold, and you could see why it's called a moon cut because of these little crescents. It's basically a dog tag chain that's been modified with these little facets, and they have a beautiful shine to them. So for a gold chain, this is about the most shine you're gonna get. It's almost like wearing a diamond chain that's just made out of gold. Adam Jones. Jones is wearing a fully iced Rolo link. A Rolo link is a lighter link. It's a simple chain. It's as simple of a chain as you can imagine. It's not particularly heavy. For example, 
This is a modified Cuban and Gucci link or anchor link as it's known. This chain that's even shorter is double the weight of this Rolo link. So you could see the way this is a little bit flimsier, a little bit lighter, and this is a little bit heavier. This is something when you're wearing it on the field, you want it to be heavy. So I would probably recommend that someone will be wearing something like this or something like this on the field. I'm not a professional athlete, but I am a professional jeweler. Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald has two chains. He's got a Miami Cuban link that's the heavy one and the lighter one is the curb link and that's the one that has a cross on it. As compared to other MLB players, Ronald has chains that are longer. That's gonna be flying around even more. That's probably why the other guys are wearing shorter, heavier links. Their performance is gonna be right on point. It might even help them in a way, right? To have something heavy around your neck, it's not something that's gonna inhibit you. That I wouldn't recommend on the field. It's gonna be longer and it's gonna be flying around in your eyes. Subconsciously, you're probably gonna be thinking about it. As many bases as Ronald has stolen, he'd probably steal even more if his chains were a little shorter and a little heavier. Javier Baez. Javi used to have a white gold dog tag chain with a Jesus head, and then later on he switched it up to a rope chain with an iced out Jesus head and a Miami Cuban to go, all right? Again, fully iced out. Javi's Jesus head chain is a little bit longer, and that is gonna fly around, as you could see, when he's playing the game, he doesn't seem to be bothered by it. So as long as that's fine on him, that's good. But again, something that probably could get annoying after a while. Malik Smith. Malik was inspired by Javi to get a chain. He got a beautiful Florida pendant with a black diamond on the capital of Florida in Tallahassee. And he's wearing it on a nice little Miami Cuban chain. It's a beautiful look. I actually admire it very much. Josh Bell. Josh Bell has a white gold Miami Cuban. It's a choker length, like around 18 inches, 19 inches tops, with a second chain, which is another white gold rope chain with a fully iced cross on it. Now these two chains are to me the right length that they won't interfere. You're not gonna see this guy swinging a bat and then his chain is flying up in the air. Francisco Lindor. Francisco is wearing a beautiful pendant. It's got enamel on it. It's something that I, I personally think is superior to what the average pendant is out there. So that's very, very nice. However, his chain is a beautiful chain. It's a diamond chain, but it's not professional athlete ready because it's a beaded chain with a thin link in it. And that thin link is only on a timer before it breaks. The way these chains are manufactured is that you fully ice a bead and you string it on just like a string of pearls onto a thinner chain that's underneath that you can't really see because you strung them on so tight. Ultimately, this is not the type of chain that you want on the field because that thin chain inside will eventually snap. And I know so from experience and when it does snap, the beads go everywhere. Ioannis Cespedes. So Ioannis has a completely unique set of chains. Those are unique links. They're older. That's not something that's manufactured nowadays anymore. And that's not something you're gonna find in the average jewelry store. The nicest piece he has there by jewelry standards would be his jersey number pendant. That's a beautiful piece. The white gold chain is a unique link. It's not something manufactured everywhere. And he's got a ring hanging off of one of those. That's probably a sentimental piece. I don't know exactly where that's from. Probably only he does. MLB players have different styles of wearing their chains on and off the field, but you don't want your chain to be a major inconvenience. You wanna have it at the right length. If you have it at the longer length, that's a personal choice, but it might become a problem at a critical moment during the World Series, and that's not what you want costing you the game is a chain flying in your face. The last thing you want while you're running to home plate is to look over your shoulder and see your chain on third base. Inside the lives of athletes like me. I let my clothes and my beard do the talking. Oh, snap. <laughs> getting pumped, getting ready. I got a big cross on my back. It took 10 hours just in one go. This one hurt, so I didn't finish it. My mom hates it every time I get one. What's up, guys? 
collecting shoes started when I was in high school. I broke the freshman scoring record in the NCAA tournament in these. How many? 39. These might be my favorite, though. When it's your birthday, you can wear stuff like this. What up, GQ? This is my favorite bag. My big candle guy. Gotta have my cufflinks. My essential things aren't exciting. Golf, absolutely an essential. Never leave home without it.